Yo, what's up? In this tutorial, we're going to be in um the section in our application where that's going to allow the user to be able to post our app. So basically, this is what we're going to build in. You're going to say please like and subscribe. Okay, when I click on post, it is going to send our post request. Like I can see we have please like and subscribe. So basically, that we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So please make sure you watch to the end, like and subscribe. So let's get started. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at what we want to do. So we want to go ahead and allow the user to be able to post. So in our post controller here, we can go right down here. We can have a feature, feature which is um create post. So we can make this async as expected, and this is a method. So this method there we are going to be requiring. So let's go ahead and require string what do we need content actually it's just content that we need because remember it is um content that we called um the stuff in our api so we want this now you can go ahead and have a try and catch so you can go ahead and have a try and catch inside it's and catch you're going to print out e dot to string now one that is done already you want to get a bad data equals to um exactly wow. what we used to have remember so we want to have a data like this because if you look at our look at our code here when you go to the um feed controller so the feed controller here to create a feed what do we need we need um store then we need we just need the content basically so that is the little we need now we just have to do the response we're gonna go and do await http dot post so once we go ahead and post url dot pass so feed so this is not actually fields because let's go ahead and check the api url so for our api to create a post so you have to move to the feed store so right here you just have to change this and uh, blue so you can follow this i'm just going to remove this so to remove unnecessary interpolation so this is still going to work then we have to pass an header as expected so we have to pass in accept so this header here we can just uh, copy it from this place okay so we can basically just copy the header from here and let's paste it okay so let's paste this now we have an error here this box read because um we've not called the box read i believe or do we need to call the box okay oh yeah yeah so we've declared it at the top already yeah so just confused about that then once that is done we just have to specify our body to be the data that we are posting now we are going to do if response so the response um request for this is supposed to be 201 all right so it's supposed to be 201 you're going to do if response the status code is equals to 201 so we can go ahead and just print in um, everything else we are going to return what is what the error is so save this and yep so this should actually work now we should go to our home page which is um on the dot here and where we have our button to post so we have this and we have our button so in this button here we can go ahead and make this async and here we can go ahead and call our post controller dot um what is it called um create post i believe and our content is going to be just test controller. Don't forget it, it's dot trim. All right, and what I want to do is that we are going to pass our weight in this place also. Our weight. So what I want to do is that once this has been passed already, I want to go ahead and recall. Okay, before that, I want to go ahead and clear this, remove all the input feed, and I want to go ahead and recall um the get or post. So basically, so we run it and with everything to so run that that query. Okay, so once that has been done, so now to now cross check if our stuff is actually working. What I want to do is um what we did previously. So we wrap this one in an OBX. So let's go ahead and wrap this uh not wrap a widget. So let's go ahead and wrap it with um stream builder. All right. So for this, we can just delete this and also delete this. Remember, it's going to be an OBX. So we're going to OBX. Now we're just going to do 
um if post controller dot is loading this all right so you can save this and everything should work so if you go go ahead um so uh, emulator now let's go ahead and click on post so you see we have nothing um okay we have an error here that says um what, what is the error we have here oh for not found so basically the url i added was not found for some reason okay so let's take a look at what we did so we want to move to the feed this is the url api feed store why is it telling me url not found let's check the postman api feed store exactly then api feed store i'm having an error that says for for not found Sorry, if I can just find the fall. Oh wow. This is weird. Let's try it again. Okay, we are still having four for not fun. Oh wow. No, I'm I'm just going to copy this. Let me just copy this like in general. Let me see what happened. Save this. And let me just clear this. Uh, let me let me run the request like this. You can see content with card, meaning he's actually for returning for four euro for some reason. I don't know why. So we have the URL here. API. And I have this here. So one two seven one ninety point five. Where's the constant? Oh wow. So it's actually different for some reason. I don't I'm not sure I know why it's different. So is it different? Let me paste it. No, it is actually the same. API, then we are going to go to API then slash feed. Then slash store. Yep. Then let's get and click on post again. I'm having four for a run of on. Wow. Oh, four page not found. I mean, I said the error not found. <laughs> okay, you no, know let me just get on. Take a look at something real quick. Why is the post controller? Oh, do I need to pass it? Yeah, I don't need to pass in this because because um I've added that in that place already. So let's leave it like this and let's try it. Posts now it's working now you can see we have content feed is required good um now what we can do is just uh print this out you can go ahead and do get yeah get a snack bar response message so i'm going to import material that stop exactly save this then let's go ahead and click on post again you can see the content feed is required nice since that is done already we, we can actually put something you can see welcome to my forum app okay, let's go ahead and click post and um we should be having welcome to my forum post oh wow so this is returning all of them so let's go ahead and restart this let's go ahead and restart that Okay. You can see we have welcome to my from map. Let me try something again. New. But we have at least six character. Now you can see this is turning um random stuff. Basically, the the issue here is that there's an issue with our our state management. So we actually need to fix our state manager that now it works and um, what i can do is let me just comment this out first let me comment that out first and let us let us restart and see what we have but you can see we have welcome to my phone map which we posted from the application all right okay so again let me just actually load this so you are logged in 
now we are having this error here because you know we are using on the needs here so this on the needs i'm just going to move it to like the the page itself in this place so instead of using on the needs i'm going to do any states in this place so this any states here i want to go ahead and do um post controller dot get all posts okay so this is, you will notice that this is actually the same thing as the as the stuff we have so let's go ahead and save this and um, let's let's just sort reload a new word in it all right what's this um, you can see we have the new word in it here but is is rendering the stuff for some reason which I so what i'm thinking now is um you see where we have this so i'm just going to comment this out today i'm going to watch restart <laughs> excuse me so i'm going to restart i'm going to just reload this we are going to fix that error actually very soon hello world again so let's go and post this what happened oh, okay it has sent actually because you can see we have success in this place so once it has sent i want to reload this particular page all right so basically i think i figured the issue this here is actually not needed we don't need to uh, pass this in this place then um in in our posts where we committed that stuff okay so i've uncomm uncommitted it out so what i want to do now is our post contract you, you notice that once it reload it keeps adding to it because it's a list so what we are going to do is that before it does anything like that once you get and do post dot value dot clear so we want to clear clear it before it runs the new request so basically like once we send the request here to clear the previous one then just fetch the new one that are there so rather than appending them together let's go ahead and auto restart then let's go ahead and check it out so auto restart then um i can just auto reload this okay yeah we will not actually get into because we need to uncomment this also and now we can go ahead and auto restart again All right, so I'm just going to look. Um, we, we actually have to fix this login, so I think we'll do that in the next video. Actually, okay, now we are getting it. So let's do final test on the forum. So let's go ahead and click on posts. You can see we have final test on the forum here, and yep, everything is working, it's not being repeated. All right, good. So now you've learned how to post our API. Next thing we are going to be looking at is um, the comment section.